Hello everybody, welcome back to 7 Days to Die. We are in the Romero mod, and as such, I've actually pulled up the information for this mod to actually tell you because there's not really a whole lot changed between this mod and base game. Basically, it kind of turns the game into The Walking Dead. As I thought, you do indeed get better damage and practically only get good damage on a zombie whenever you aim for the head. Uh, it increases the amount of zombies in world, it increases the daytime horde, and it discontinues the horde night. Uh, there's also a couple of other things like um, your experience is lowered because there's extra zombies in world. And of course there's the tool belt changes here and... Oh yeah, it takes the stone tools out and replaces those with scrap tools. I think that's the only thing I really noted... It was hugely different about this mod. Basically, that's all that was really changed on here. I did actually have an issue. Uh, for those of you who don't know, my computer has been acting rather odd ever since I put in the extra RAM. So it's been sent off. It's come back. Had another issue. So uh, you may notice some changes like what I'm carrying and my infection rate is different because I actually, when the game crashed on me, after episode two, technically it was episode three that I was recording and when it crashed, it not only corrupted my video, it corrupted my save. So I had to go back and do it all over again, which I did. And it didn't give me the exact same missions. It didn't send me to the exact same places and stuff, but I managed to get kind of where I was at before. Infection included because uh, apparently getting an infection is very, very easy to do and very, very hard to find anything to cure it. I don't know why it's so hard to find things inside this particular mod to actually cure an infection in every other playthrough I've done outside of this mod. Antibiotics and stuff really aren't that hard to find and neither are... I mean, honey you can get from any stump. Any stump will give you honey. This one, I've taken out a few stumps, haven't been able to find any. So... I have found one honey since day one, just like the other playthrough, and just like the other playthrough, for some reason or another, I have two traitors. I don't know why. Uh, what else was changed? Uh, let's see. I'm at level five. I have killed 103 zombies. I didn't try killing any of the hordes because I actually increased my hordes to 200 on map. It doesn't change the amount of the Wandering Horde, it changes the amount that's allowed on the map at any one time. The only issue with this mod is, is it starts you out at 25 and you can go up to 200 zombies on the map at one time. If you get past, say, 50 zombies on a regular computer that you're playing on in a regular playthrough or even in a server, you're probably going to run into issues with people um, having a lot of lag. Uh, I'm actually concerned that this is going to cause issues with mine, but we're just going to see how it goes. Uh, the only reason I turned it up to 200 is because when I was playing up to dar playing Darkness Falls, when I turned the horde on every 50 days, that's how many zombies I put in world was 200. Um, what else is different between this playthrough and when I redid it? Oh yeah, I have not gone through the electronic store, which is what I'm actually going to go do today. Uh, it didn't send me on a mission to the electronic store for some reason. So that's what we're going to do today. I already took care of that house and that house, which is what I did on day one and day two. And technically when I was recording day three, I went through Doggo's looking for antibiotics. So we're going to try and hit up the electronic store just because that's what I did in the other one. And we're going to go ahead and try and do that again. I am very, very worried about what a, a wandering horde and 200 zombies on map is going to look like, but... I wanted to up it because really there's not a whole lot of difference between okay a whole lot of difference between the regular playthrough and this playthrough like i said so this is interesting if this is all you're looking for to change the feel of your game make it feel more like walking dead there's more zombies in the world you actually have to place your your okay they're spawning in you have to actually place your hits a whole lot better than in the base game and I'll be honest with you, melee just seems like a better option because of the because of the RNG of where your bullet could go, you could be aiming at the head of a zombie, 
But the RNG will be like, eh, no, maybe you didn't actually hit it at all. Maybe it just like sideswiped it a little bit on the ear way over here, 5,000 yards that way, even though it was right on the head. That sounded weird. Um, anyway, uh, <laughs> because of the RNG with the bullets and everything, it would make it very, very hard to actually fend off a wandering horde with a gun. So this would definitely type, be a type of mod where I would probably focus in on my melee skills. Uh, there seems to be a lot of zombies. I'm really worried about when the wandering horde is going to hit. Day two, the morning horde had already started, and I don't know how often the hordes are going to happen. One thing that I do like about this is the fact is, is I'm actually reluctant to go into a POI, not because of some big bad A zombie that might come after me like some of the other mods, it's because of the amount of mods that can actually rush the building without any warning. And that to me is that it could get very, very overwhelming. I may not even hear them until it's too late because some of these guys have got really quiet, tippity-tappy feet. Wait. That's them. Is that them? Hold on. That might be them. Uh, let's see. I hate to do this against the side of a building again, but... I need a clear... I hate whenever I zoom in during the recording, it's kind of actually hard to see and they look like a bunch of pixels. It'd be really nice to have a weapon that's got a scope on it. Huh. Maybe it'd be one of those playthroughs you could actually watch the horde come in and scope them from the roof of another building. Are you seriously going to come over here to the building I'm planning on working on? I mean, technically I've already been through this building in the recording. I was just wanting to make sure I did all of the stuff that I had done in the other playthrough. It's absolutely not necessary to do it, but... Uh... Ow. Ah! Hold on. Wait, wait, wait for it. I need the bird. Okay, there we go. That's not good. Alright, come on, Frank. Okay. Not really concerned with that part. I do, however, want these things. Oddly enough, didn't I get a triple pocket mod from the last time I came through here? I think so. This is exactly what I'm talking about. You'd be reluctant to go inside of a building because if you got trapped inside... Uh, when a whole fleet of zombies came in... Uh -uh. Oh boy. I should just wait for all of them to get inside the building and then I should run. I really think that's a much better idea. <laughs> Look at all you guys! If I could just slam the door on you and leave. Okay, so what we're not gonna do is go through that building because that's just a bad idea. Um, I'm gonna <laughs> go over here and hide. Big grief. Uh, that's one of the POIs that sent me to. I was kind of wanting to go through doggos. There's like two medicine things in doggos when I went last time, but I'll be honest with you, I didn't find what I was looking for in the, I'm going to say, faux episode three because it actually got ruined. So. That is crazy. Uh, I kind of feel like I want to take some of them out to thin out the herd. Is there any other place in town that's probably going to give me medicinal stuffs? You know, because this infection is kind of crazy. In the other playthrough, I'd actually gotten 
I think at the end of day two, I was actually around 20%. So I lasted a lot longer day one without getting an infection, but it still wound up happening. Why, what about... Is there a medical area of this POI right here? I don't remember. I remember it being a very large POI with a lot of interesting stuff inside of it, but don't remember what all is down there. Oh, stamina. Okay. Well, one thing I can do is I can not hesitate. I can go through this building and look for meds, or at least attempt to. Knock, knock. Never understood that. Oh. Okay, I probably should take care of you guys first, huh? Hey, bam! How you doing? Knock, knock. Hello, sir! Come on, man. I need antibiotics, man. I don't understand why it's so hard to find those. Hello. Oh, I have also gotten a lot more. Oh, okay. A lot more ammo this particular round than I did last round because one of my missions that I did, it offered me 200 9 mils. So I obviously chose that. Sir, come back here. Come on, Dean. I don't have all day for you to figure this out now. Hello, ma'am. How's stuff? How's things? Ooh, she dodged that. Okay. Hello, Ed. How you doing? The same thing. I went through the entire... You guys are seeing episode 1 through 4. I have actually done day 1 and day 2 twice. So for me to go through a second one where yet again I am stuck without antibiotics is kind of frustrating. I'm not gonna lie. Though it does tell me that there's something wrong with the RNG on me actually getting an antibiotic. Ridiculous. Knock, knock. This is exactly what I'm talking about. You quietly tippity tapping around me. Ooh. 
more skill points. Uh, one onto Lucky Looter. And I did manage to get Pummel Pete, Sexy T Rex, and. What else? Healing Factor, Cardio, Pain Tolerance. What else would I want to do? Uh, the Brawler, maybe? Yeah. Okay. Points have been spent. What else can we find? Ow, 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 ow. Jeez, you actually broke my arm. Also, another thing I just remembered uh, during my research that I noticed is they took the they took the rage mechanic off the zombies. So even if they get mad at you, they're not going to rush you, which I guess is because there are so many zombies in world. It would kind of suck if you kind of ticked off quite a few of them. And yeah, I guess so. The tape would. Uh, Probably find something. That is cloth up here. Okay, Splint is on 30 minutes for that to get fixed. Grief. It does not stop you from getting your booty handed to you just because they can't rage at you. It most certainly still happen. No maids. Yes. I hear you up there being sneaky. Alright, moving on. Still nothing for the infection, which is ridiculous. Yes. Who said this? Who said that? There's a horde. That's not here, that's a horde. This is not a good place to have one. This guy is practically impossible to hit his head. Nobody ask you thick. Meds, 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 meds. No. At this rate, I probably should have just went ahead and taken the perk and made like some herbal antibiotics or something. Space. There we go. <laughs> Stand up, woman. No, no. Over here. Get out here. Ow. 
Would you hit his head? I was aiming for that noggin, man. Okay. Herbal antibiotic. It's worth ten. It's not gonna cure it though. Alright, sir. I really... The longer I stay in here waiting for you guys to figure out how to get down the... Oh, God. I forgot there's actually guys over here, too. We should... Uh... Yeah, do that. What are you doing? You know what? I don't want to know. I want to get out of here. Or rather, I want to find what I came in here for. I'm gonna fall on top of my head, I can tell. Blah! Okay. Could be a problem. appreciate you guys depositing those guys right above my head. Frank. Thank you. So, uh, 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 uh. ow. Good grief, the whole group was coming over here. You know what? I think I'm just gonna, like, leave right quick. You know what I'm saying? I guess I'll have to wait to be making my own meds, but that kind of proves that y you gotta be very careful about which POI you go into because yeah, they just kind of fell on top of my head while I was trying to find stuff and things. So uh, let's go back in here, sell some stuff, and go see what else I can find. I'm kind of keeping my inventory very very tiny instead of storing a whole bunch of stuff. And just selling the rest of it, hoping at some point or another I will- okay. Okay! Then at some point or another, I will actually find what I'm looking for. Ah, yeah, okay. I think. It'll be very hard to get my arm healed up at this rate. Just all kinds of people coming down the road right now. Good grief. Oh my. Come on, woman. I'm not sure if you guys can see this. Hang on. Looks like they're going after the traitor. to pull them away from the traitor that has so many zombies. Oh my god. Hmm. 
Oh, there you go. There you go. Follow the sounds. Go that way. Get this horde turned. Come on, guys. Stay away from the traitor. Woo! Okay, come on. This way, guys. <laughs> I'm not even gonna try and kill them. I'm just gonna lead them away from the traitor. Uh, they all stopped in the middle of the road. Come on, guys. Ugh. Come on over here. Come over here to this field. Yeah, dummies back there. Hey, grief. I need you guys that are a bit faster than everybody else to just kind of stop for a second so I can go back and get the rest of the group. You too, thick. Okay, that might be good enough. Okay. Now let's go see whether or not I actually managed to pull all the ones away from the traitor. There's still a couple sitting over there. Uh, looks like they're just kind of milling about, though. They're not actually aggroed into the traitor right this second, I don't think. Uh, you guys come here. The traitor okay? Vitamins! Yay! Not that that's going to help me very much. Though, I will say, I, I didn't get the exhausted thing that I got the last time, so... Who knows, it could still be useful for this playthrough to have a vitamin on me. Okay. There we go. Well, let me go see if the traitor survived. You guys okay? Everybody okay? Y'all okay? Can I see your inventory? You want these? I'm not going to use them in this playthrough, so you know, I might as well sell them to you. Oh, okay. Y'all must have been the ones at the back of the group. I guess I need to clean you guys up. I thought I had pulled them far enough away from the house to not have to worry about it. Be nice if my arm would heal up. Oh, jeez. Frank, you and I need to be quiet. Come this way. It seems like there's a lot of zombies that are walking back here again. Just milling about. Okay, well, let me walk over here. Maybe if I go on this side of town, they won't come back towards the building. Oh, that item needs repairs. Woman, where did you come from? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. 
kind of, they are kind of spreading out all over the place over there. Uh, I'm kind of afraid for my chances of actually making it through the night without getting anybody killed. Including me. <gasps> More antibiotic? Nice, I only need like five more in order for me to be cured of it, maybe. Knock, knock. Hello, ma'am. Get out from there. Ah! Don't do it. Yes. I think there's somebody downstairs making noise. I'm not sure what a lab tech is doing inside a closet anyway. Peace is what I'm looking for. <laughs> not what I'm looking for. Yep, I definitely hear people outside. Hello? I wonder if they're bringing in a horde. What I could do is fire some shots up here in the attic, bail out, and leave them all to come up here looking for the... Karen, let me ask you. Now you need to go down, sir. Everybody's coming down here. I'm gonna go up here. Yeah. You guys come up here. Give me a chance to get some of my stamina back. Tell me you've got an antibiotic. Vitamins. Cool. Too bad a vitamin won't stall the progress of an infection. Hmm. Interesting. Okie dokie. Well, let me see if I can try and sneak back over to the trader's place without... Attracting all of the attention in the world. Oh boy. You guys are really not- oh jeez, I see a lot more of you. Alright, let me do a... A covert, covert run over this way. Like that. Pull of this number and see if I can actually pull those zombies into thinking I'm over there. Ladies and gentlemen, that is it for this episode. We're going to end it right here, and we're going to do our day four. We're going to run and go get our drop as we normally do and see whether or not there's any, you know, like a drop and then immediately get completely ambushed by something, but we'll see. So far, this mod is very simplistic and enjoyable. I'll see you in the next episode. You have one for day and one for night in your station. Bye!